And what about the generator? Uh, everyone. <laughs> Great. Thanks. There, there's the answer I was looking for. All of us are responsible for data quality. It, it's an important aspect of our work. However we use the data, whether we generate it, whether we do some analysis and we are, uh, uncover errors, to be able to fix it up, send it back, make sure it goes back into the system with those errors and those changes acknowledged. So all through the value chain or the life cycle of data, each and every single person, every, each and every single user has got the responsibility for data quality. So just to bring this back to the issue of institutional building, just to use access I presented the other day. We're talking about building institutions, whether it's physical, whether it's virtual institutions, partnerships, and, and that's the vision that we have. So, so yeah, so. Um, and here, what we're looking for is obviously leadership. Right? And this is what we, what we want to do. What we've got here is the mission. This is, relates to performance. Right. And then, what we're saying is that when we talk about performance, we're talking about how to do it. And what I mentioned the other day is, when you get people that works on this axis, they're visionary, they're always dreaming. Nothing happens. When you get people that's actually the real doers, but they don't have any idea what they're doing, they do everything, and there's just no direction. What we need to get is the issue of why we're doing it, so that we can kind of get performance, a balance between the two. And when it comes to data quality, it's exactly the same thing. We need to understand within the institution and the uh, institutions we're working in, when we're looking at data quality, what we'd like to achieve, how we're going to do it, but why. Very important, and this is what, what drives people. Um, and so it's very different for different institutions. But I do think, given that all of us are responsible, given that we've got a clear case as to why we need to fix data, we understand the implications. What I think is missing, and I think it's missing from Sanby, is a clear framework, an institutional framework, that needs to be put in place for data quality. So the question that I want you to do, and the kind of the work we're going to do now, in the last couple of minutes, is what are the elements from an institutional level do we need to think of when we think of data quality? What do we need to put in place as an institution to ensure that we put data out that's fit for use, that, that it's got the proper documentation, that people understand the, con the constraints and opportunities of using the data, that we make sure that all the data that we serve lends to the credibility and the strengthening of our institution, because that's our currency. So I want you to work in three groups, um, but the three of you will have to go and work in one group. Um, into groups of three, and I want you just to discuss this. What do we need to put in place at an institutional level that will create a framework or some kind of structure that will help improve the quality of data? I'm not talking here about the, 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 the um, definitions of data quality. What are the structural elements we need to put in place so that we could get to this point? And so that we can understand what resources it requires and what investment it requires. Go ahead. I'm ready with an answer, sure. or you want us to write it? I wanted to, I wanted to discuss it. I think also on here because what we've got is we've got some institutions that gave some good examples of why they've got good data. Sorry, okay, sorry. Before you start, you heard some examples of why we've got some good data. Can't we put all of those experiences together and have the ideas to come out with some mm -hmm. guideline that could go that you can take back to your institution? and say, well, this is the process we need to think of for strengthening our data quality. All right. So for the next five to 10 minutes, can you discuss that? And we'll get back. So, okay. Start? Okay, so, so just to start to say that what we're going to look at now, we're going to wrap up the conversation and say from an institutional perspective, what do we need to do? What do we need to put in place to ensure that we have good quality data? Uh, and it relates back to understanding, you know, in terms of the performance, so, so simply what it is and potential impact. 
So now these are suggestions from you. And remember, we're looking from an institutional perspective. So as an institutional, do you put in processes, some frameworks, some strategies, what needs to happen? So let's look if we can come up with something. We need to adopt peer review and quality test mechanisms. We need to adopt standard processes and methods. We need to have a strategy for good quality data with MNE to tools and resources. Qualified high level scientists. Adopt standard tools. Adopt standards and tools. That goes here, linked to that. We need credit, we must credit recognition for publishing good data. Data records can be categorized according to quality. Data quality mechanisms must provide feedback for, to the data provider. Um, monitoring or supervision mechanisms to ensure processes followed. We need to establish collaboration for support for data review. Where are they? Adequate resources and staff. Access to experts. Um, team of experts in taxonomy. Incentives for data providers to collaborate. I thought we saw that somewhere else. I'll get back to it. And leadership to achieve good quality data. One more. So, policy and standards. So if we want to improve at an institutional level our data quality, we need to commit, because we say that is our currency, we need to commit and what we need to do and what, what we need to put in place. We've got policy and standards that must be adopted. Uh, we need to have collaboration and peer review, a process in place. I have a strategy for good quality data with m &E tools and resources. I have quality, quality, qualified high level scientists, which goes with access to experts that's around capacity. This includes staff. There should be a monitoring process which links to good quality data. Uh, also need the feedback, which is linked to that. Um, and also some links to data categorization. And then acknowledgement, leadership. So, if you go back to your institution, and you think back of your, to your institution, do you have an overall strategy for data quality? Second question, do you have policies in place that define data quality, data standards? Fatima, could you just write? The strategy, do you have the policy? Do you have processes in place that people understand when they give data to you that the data must have gone through a check and what is what's expected from them? So those are the gaps, that the, the missing gaps that you've identified that you need to, to plug. Chris, you want to add to say something? There have to be greater institutional rewards for you. Know, okay. What? Great. 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 Yeah, I'm looking at it somewhere. Middle. Middle. Incentives. Can I just get some input in this? If we need to structure this as a kind of a framework, how do we go about doing this for your institutions? Uh, Town and then um, uh, uh, Joseph. Okay, we're gonna go first. Okay. We are mandated by the law to develop the state of the environment. And we have developed a procedure of how we should collect data can it be like a policy, an institutional procedure, an ISO procedure of how we can collect data so that we can publish this state of environment report? Thank you. So it's a, a procedure, ISO procedure, and a policy that goes with it. Simply the point. 
maybe one more element is formal training. You have access to experts, but you can train the data creators, the data processors, the data handlers, and techniques to avoid quality loss. All right. Formal training. All right, anything else that's missing? So what you've identified here is some structural elements that you need to consider to integrate data quality within your, organ within your institution to help give it that credibility and that currency. And let's just go through it one more time, and, and this is the wrapping up. So what we are saying is, for your institution, you, and you need a, a governance framework or some kind of structure on data quality. You need to say, well, this is our governance framework, and our governance framework will have strategies and policies in place. And I can tell you now, there's no need to reinvent this wheel. It's out there. There are policies on the website, there are strategies that you could look at and adopt for your local situation. Right. We also need to look at mechanisms to provide feedback, because it's quite important. So it's, it's one thing to get the data, but how do we ensure that part of the entire data quality process, we have a feedback mechanism? so that the data provider, the data user, can engage with each other and make sure that quality data is available. A big issue here is around access to experts. And I don't think this is a major problem, quite frankly. We are international. We can engage with a number of experts. You go onto the GBF website. There's a number of um, videos on data quality. There's a number of documents, you know, the seminal piece of work by Arthur Chapman. All of that is available. There's, there's what Town is doing right now. So when it comes to experts, identify what type of experts you need. You know, you can't just say I need experts on data quality. What are your issues with data quality? What would you like to achieve in terms of the vision of your organization? And then get the experts in to help. And they're out there, and they will be willing to help. Then it's the issue of Training, 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 training. We have identified there's a lot of training material available, self-training, training like this, and training next week. But again, what you need to do as part of your strategy is identify what type of training do you need. Is it training at the data capture level? Is that where the major problem lies? Is it how people are interpreting the data, how people are representing the data? What are the issues that you need training on? And again, it must be very strategic on that. This is what, what's being said here. And then institutional rewards for data quality, incentives for publishing. And I think it goes back to what was mentioned earlier by, I think Chris was it you that said, part of the impact or you know, what, what comes out of, of having good quality data is the citation, is the use, is the recognition, is the acknowledgement. You know, and out of that, further good things will flow in terms of potential resources. Um, that's part of that. And then I've got fundraising. I do think fundraising is an outcome of, of, of providing good quality data. And the last aspect that we've got here is around leadership. This is leadership is going to be quite important. If you develop a strategy, if you develop your plans and your processes, you must drive it. You, you must have somebody to drive it through, throughout the organization, throughout, and make sure it's implemented consistently over time. All right, so, so Fatima summarized it. So, Town, just a, a takeaway message then for this particular session in terms of linking institutional strengthening to data quality. Is that at least there's some structure that's been identified by the team that is relevant to the participants in terms of looking at creating a framework that would enable the institution to deliver quality data in relation to its mandate so that it could be strengthened over time. All right. Thank you, everybody.